good, what's good, what's good? Welcome to Smoke and Mirrors Podcast. You know what it is, we here for a reason, not just a season. Welcome to Smoke and Mirrors Podcast. Y'all know the slogan. We here for a reason, not just a season. Today we got a special, special show. We here with my brother, D Gardo 50. If you don't know who he is, I don't know what's going on with y'all. Y'all must be under a rock or something. Music is fire. You know what I'm saying? The good brother, today is his birthday. So we're gonna salute him for that for the show. Yeah, Happy birthday, D Gardo. Happy birthday. You know, me, Slick. Slick Chat, you know, you can find me on Instagram, Slick's the best, Slick Chat, dial in, tune in, you know, I'm always here just to get that word, you know, I, you know I'm more of a relationship counselor than anything else, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I also got a lot of questions for the good brother over here, you know what I'm saying, what is good music, cause that's when I heard the music is amazing, so, right. you know, I got some, some questions for him, and over here at the top, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Once again, we're in the Paperwork Palace, and you know what they say. When your paperwork is good, it's your visa through life and your passport through the hood. So we welcome you again. Another super dope edition of Smoke and Mirror Podcast. We're here to get behind the scenes. We're here to get inside the mind and see what makes our brother tick, man. He's putting on for Strong Allen and beyond. So we're going to get to it. That's a fact. So, Digo, we're going we gonna to start it off right away with asking you, like, what, what made you get into this music business? Um... <clears throat> Like, for black people, music is like a part of your life. You know, mm -hmm. it's like part of our culture. You know, it's like a lot of people was telling me to get into it. I kind of like was doing it as a hobby. Mm -hmm. You know, just uh, you know, people telling me I got it. You know, and not too many other options. I don't mean to like you know, cut myself short, but you know, the way I was taught, brought up. You know, so I had to change my mindset. Other things, though. but that's how I initially got mm -hmm. into it, thinking that it was like my only option. Like, facts, facts. You know, I, I, still, I knew I had other options. I still stuck with it. Let me ask you this. So originally, you know, some people might not know where you're from. They might not know what you're repping. You know what I'm saying? So when you're from, like, give us a little background on that. When you, you know, when you grew up. You probably get a lot of stress. You know, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how I get over. Don't worry. People ask me that. I like, but y'all from here, where I'm from. So right. I, I get into that. This will be here for. But when people ask me that, when I'm like, when I'm locked up, I say, and they say Long Island, I'm mm -hmm. like all over that. Facts. Right. So I stomped everywhere. I went to school there, and been there, every time Long Island. Mm -hmm. You know, I got money there, girls there, homeboys there. You know, I'm good there. You know, right. But um. I don't, I don't know, I would like to say, we want to take it all the way back. I think I was brought to Westbury from the hospital, National Camp Medical Center. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm sure that, you know. And then from there, Hempstead. Mm -hmm. and from there, uh, down south. Okay. Back from down south, Unionville. Okay. okay. When I was grown, then after that, it was everywhere. Yeah, yeah, one of my followers just said, you know, Hempstead Union, right. so they must yeah. know you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. my guy, too. That's my guy. So I did a lot of my childhood down south. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Good. I did that. Georgia, Virginia. I got people there everywhere. You mm -hmm. know okay. what I'm saying? Is that, is, that, is, that, is that what your music reflects? Yeah. You know, sometimes when you, you know, travel like that and move around like yeah. that, you know, you get a little taste of flavor from everywhere, you know, you bet, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Some people, music just consists of them just being here, they from here, and you know, we say that a lot about our Long Island artists, they get stuck, they get stuck in Long Island and can't leave Long Island because they don't know how to get out, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? True, honestly, I think that's, that's one of my advantages, you know? Around and I've been in different places. Mm. You know, so, yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, that's that's right. a big part of my story. Uh, my music. Mm. Will, you, will you play kickball and tag at? <laughs> <laughs> right? Because when we think of kickball and tag, we think of childhood. Child you know what I'm saying? Like, will you play hide and go get it? Right, not, this might hurt a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> 
I say Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 So you spent some time down there as a youth. Time. So I those your formative years. Too, I got turned on to the street early. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So, so you grew up down there. Mm -hmm. All right. Because when you get turned out so to the street, that's when yeah, you get evolution. Yeah, yeah, that's that's when you have an affinity yeah. to because wherever we go after that, we always remember where we came yeah. out at. Right. Like, that's one of the places I missed you know, when I left. Mm. You know, I was you know, kind of took this. I was a kid, turned into a man, so it wasn't I couldn't stay if I wanted to. God, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, so do you, let me ask you this question, Dico. Do you feel like, like, say, Jacksonville and Florida and all that, do you feel like the fan base is different down there? Like, the love is different than up here in New York? I would say I'm not even going to just say Long Island. Like, is the love different down there than up here? Uh, that's a good topic because people always say, well, you go to other places, they show more love mm -hmm. than where you're from. So, um, I would just like to say it's all about you, man, your work ethic. You know, mm -hmm. I would like to say where you're from is the last place to show you love. But that's the first place mm -hmm. they're going to look when they see what you got going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's a don't fact. just think you can run somewhere else and blow up. You got to tap into where you're from in your hood. You know what I mean? Even if they hate you. Put it in their face. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I like that. I like that. How, how much stock do you place in being respected from or being respected in the place where you was where you come from? How do you place a lot of stock in that, or if you like you know whatever? Yeah, whatever. I place all of my stock in that. You know what I mean? Love. That's different. Respect. I demand respect. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. All of my. Because you know a lot of people can't go home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They go. They born in this town and they represent oh, not, this oh, town. Oh, as far as that. Yeah. In terms oh yeah, of just yeah. I could go back. Oh yeah, they love me, man. You yeah, know that's yeah. why I said some people feel it's gonna be hurt when I say yeah. where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. That's why I like to say I'm from everywhere. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. They love me wherever I go, man. People yeah. treat me the same. You know, if they don't, it's behind my back. But okay. And they doing a good job. Right, 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 right. Other than that, keeping it off the radar. I'd be surprised, you know, because I'd be thinking motherfuckers don't be showing love. Because I get a lot of love behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Like, if a motherfucker go DM me a 10 page paragraph, but he might only like the post. I'm going to put that on the, on the, on the, on the comments. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know, fact. Me, but, you know yes, it's so yes. good. It is what it is. We all experience that, 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 that claim. You take that in. So, yeah, you got that, five likes, but when you go into the research of the views, you got 4,000 views. You're like, well, watch damn. It. Not even so, that. It's just like people, uh, 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 congratulate you in secrecy. Like, right, right, you know, right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? You, you, right. If you, you know what I mean? Proud of me. Say it loud. Say it loud. Right. Let, let, somebody else, let somebody yeah. else know you're proud of me. So yeah, they might yeah, say the same right. shit. Yeah. They might feel like they in secrecy. And if you let it out, they'll say, you know what? Damn, you know what? Such and such. Let, let, me, let me let them know how I feel about them too. Nah, really. I always, shit. I always, I always it happens like, that one. Like you said, that's crazy. He got said that. I always felt like that was like the biggest problem, with, even with, with music to everything. People always like I see people in the mall and they'll be like, Yo, bro, the show y'all doing is crazy. But I'm like, damn, why didn't you just write that on the poll so niggas can see that like you know what I mean? Or just say, you know what I'm saying? But I don't I don't I don't I never got that. You know how people think they like to, you know, jump on what's going on. Oh exactly. they say what's crazy, let me look at those. Yeah, so, so why say that in privacy, you know what I mean? I don't I, that's what I never get. If I feel that somebody's hot, do it. Oh, move that bottle. Sir. When I feel that somebody is, when I feel somebody is fire, I always write that. If I feel somebody is fire, or somebody is hot, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell them. I want the public to know it. You know yes, what I mean? Yes. Like I, when I first heard, when I got first put on the D guard music, I always knew D guard. But when I heard this music, I said D guard, man, I think you need to go with this, bro. Like I feel like you are painting a picture. Like it's not too many artists right now that's spitting. That visually you could sit there and you could see what he talking about. Like feel he like just talking. Feel that. like you in the. You feel like you in the. Yeah, song. like when I hear you songs, I'm like, with him. It's a movie. This is I it. I right hear movie music. This you know is what it. Saying? D. God did a song shit. with um with Drowley. Yeah, yeah. I, I I used to hear D. God said D. God this song was tough. like it's fire. Yeah. Like, I would listen to that shit on repeat over and over again. And then I saw listening to other shit from D. God. And I'm like this D. God you you got it, bro. Like you fire. You know what I'm saying? But I know how. Like is is it so? When I ask you this, D. God like. Is it hard to separate the, the music from from the streets? You get what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he he gave us that DMX bar. <laughs> yeah, because, um, you know, you got some young kids that that came up. They don't care what you did or what you mm -hmm. used to do. You know what I mean? And, uh, I could be rapping about what I did or what I used to do. My generation gonna be like, yeah, he about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. they gonna know. Oh yeah, watch out. He ain't playing. These young niggas playing. 
to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. So you know what I mean? You got to be able to move around that. You know what I mean? You got to you know what I mean? But then for some people going to text that. It's not exactly. really about that. I could be telling them about my past. Mm-hmm. And they thinking, oh, he on that now. Mm-hmm. So when they see me, they on defense mode. Exactly. You know I mean? So it's like, you know, that's just what it is. Yeah, but, mm-hmm. so it's hard to separate. I get what you're saying. It's really not hard as far as, you know, but it is. I mean, I don't think you should completely have to, you know, as far as the illegal stuff yet, but mm-hmm. I think you should still always be around your people, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You get that, you get a different type of feeling, you get a different type of love, you get different things to talk about. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As far as that, yeah, you can't separate yourself. You can't isolate yourself. From that. And that's where your you music coming from yeah. anyway, so it's, well, it's, it's hard touch. to really, yeah, you, you can't lose touch. That that's hunger. the first thing a motherfucker gonna say. That's, that's the first thing. Oh, that nigga ain't even been around here. Tell you how the fuck he talking right. about the block. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's and me too. I'm big on you know. I ain't I ain't with the cat rap. You know, everything right. I say, people can vouch for it. Right, right, you right, know, right. My mother could tell you about rhymes that she was. You know, she got favorite so, songs of mine. You know, <laughs> right, so that's like, that's real. Well, but creative, but creatively. Do everything have to be factual? I mean, you can paint the artistic picture. No, yeah, that's yeah. that's. You know what I'm saying? Like that's still descriptive to, yeah, to, to explain where you come from, King. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because being, you know what I'm saying? Like you can talk about the killings and the shooters, but not necessarily have to be a killer or a shooter. Right. Like right. because that that's a reality that goes on where we come from. Right. There is some killing, there is some shooting, and you are the maestro. You know what I'm saying? You use words to paint pictures to enhance their consciousness mm. because they ain't listen to us no other way. Just me dropping some jewels, they might listen because they fuck with me. But right, you, right. you put it in music to a beat. Now you got a class going, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. so do you feel like everything needs to be straight, real, or can you creatively reach some people? Uh, like, what's your no. style? Like, where you coming from with? Uh, I just like you know tell what's going on. See, my everything is not about me. Either. It's about what I see. Also, uh, about mm, what's mm. going on, with people around me. Yes, I mean, it's not just about me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, just, as far as my style, I'm like. I like to, like, if you listen to my music, you'll hear a different style on every song. Mm-hmm. It sounds exactly. different on every song, mm-hmm. you know, and... That's good, because I, I hate the purpose. rappers that sound the same. I don't do it on purpose. And when I'm, cre- you know, when I'm creating a project, I don't listen to nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not like nothing inside your head. head. Right. Sound, like somebody yeah, else. I don't fight. listen to nothing mm-hmm. at yeah. all. Okay. You know, okay. nothing. Nobody music. You know? Are you into the battle rap scene, or are you more just about making music to entertain and to... Just, you know, get to I just like to tell a story. I don't really consider right. myself a rapper. I feel like an artist. Mm. I'm a storyteller, you know. I just like narrate what I see. You know? right. So if somebody me. called you out, you ain't really with the battle and shit? Or uh, would you be up for the challenge? That's sort of like snapping your mama jokes. Make them all Yeah, yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, that's really yeah, what yeah, it yeah. is. You know, snapping with a beat or a cappella snapping, right? You know, I don't know. It's more aggressive. It's, you know, I don't know. Face spitting. Yeah, you know, if a nigga diss me, I'ma stand on what I stand on, you mm-hmm. know, but I ain't with the battle rap and who's in the eyes, you know, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's why I never diss nobody unless I wanna if it's there or whatever, you know what I mean? Gotcha, so, that's real. Hang with that. They controversy sells though, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. everybody don't gotta go that route. Mm-hmm. That's that's right. the route I'm trying to take. Mm-hmm. Nah, I feel the way about a lot of stuff. Yeah, but as far as the industry shit too, but I how is the industry like? Um, Fucked up. What's your, what's your take on it? Is it difficult navigating your way through the industry? You know, uh, get into the radio stations, get into the DJs. Are you are you are you meeting some political resistance, or are you receiving somewhat of a, well, a warm welcome when you do come across people who are in certain positions? How does that go for you? I put it like this: you got money. That's the warm up. That's it. You got it. You don't even gotta have a fact. This song could be the best thing they ever heard. Mm. And it don't give a fuck. You ain't got no money, no budget. Mm. You know what I mean? Wow. They ain't fucking. That's crazy. They lying. Talking about if your shit hot, we gonna play it. We gonna rock with you. You know what I mean? They lying. Uh. So you check to them. You know what I mean? Don't let them lie to you. Ain't nobody really genuinely trying to really help nobody like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got you. I got you. That's but, a fact. But, you know, a real business person. You know, some it's some dude select a few. You know, I ain't gonna get the name, but it's a select a few. I see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. On stuff. Yeah, yeah. But some people is like <clears throat> they know you. you know what I mean, it's like you know, some people want to rap to their 155, and they don't mm-hmm. want to put nobody on. Like, 
for other people down bottom. As soon as they get on, they put their man on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're right away. Well, they can rap with that man is. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know what I mean? Just because they man. Yeah, right. yeah, and yeah. they know this is an asset. Uh -huh. Once the people catch on to you, nigga, you got your YouTube, everything, all that's gonna keep, you know what I mean? You good. Mm. I, think, I think that's what's, like, cause I'm glad D-Gar said that. I think that's what's sad about the industry. Mm. It's like, because you got people out here that's dead nice, but they don't have a bag behind them. It's all about, it is all about the bag. And I'm glad D-Gar said that, because I've been around this shit, and I've seen it. Like, they don't care. They don't even, like, now they, they don't even want to listen to the record. Them niggas is more talking about what's your budget. And you be like, God damn, like, let me know if you like the record first, if you if you fuck with it. But they more like, nah, what's your budget? So do you like the record or you just want some money yeah, in your pocket? Yeah, because if you like it, then you Yeah, they, they, I want you to fuck with it. Like, like, listen to it until you tell them what's your budget. Yeah, they don't even want to listen to it. What about the numbers games? Are, 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 you, are you bumping into a lot of what's your following or how many subscribers you got or the, or the bag supersedes that too? Bag could get you a million followers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know how this shit is these computers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can be tricky with these fake followers. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, a couple yeah. people come at me. I'm like, I don't do fake followers. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Shit. Fake interaction, saying the same shit on every post. That's yeah, cool. hi. How was your trip? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Show right? me my real fans. Do it organically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it'll catch on. You know. No question. That's so, a fact. Yeah, as far as that. I don't even think they look at that no more because they can blow you up. Right, right. Mm -hmm. They know what they can do. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. They could take a bum off the streets and blow them up. Blow them up. You mm. know what I mean? They just looking for a dummy. That bum might not be a dummy. Mm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's a fact. So, right. We used to watch movies like that back in the day where they could make you mm -hmm. be the president mm -hmm. of a country and you a okay. so cold bum. Now we live in, now we living in those times, mm -hmm. right? But it's, it's crazy. I, I, I got a feeling that I think it's going to come back around. That's always been my, my theory. I think there's a seal on the Yeah, because I think yeah, music is going to come back itself. around to... to, to Authenticity. To, to, yeah, it is. It's going to come back around. Like it's starting yeah. to go that way. Because it's starting to go that way. You start to see like it because that. these artists who they doing this with all this fake shit, they're not lasting. That's why these. That's why they say like these old dudes is in there, they're not moving because they still kind of still kind of relevant because mm -hmm. they actually put put the they, work they in put the, the work in. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? They put the work in. Like they're going to keep their spot. Yeah, like what Diddy seen big. When he when he seen big, he didn't see him for no numbers or no, yeah. all the look. You see, he, he just seen that. the talent and make, say, yeah, what he could come. You get what I'm saying? I, I I could make him something, bro. Mm -hmm. If I if I put the bag behind him, mm -hmm. the music is already there. Mm -hmm. Now they getting caught up in when you go in these offices. Oh, how many followers you got? There? And now these young dudes mm -hmm. are getting so smart where they like, why am I even going to the label if I already got a million people following? Mm -hmm. I'm already making my money, so why yeah, I need to even go sign to you? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I think it's gonna spin back around to real music because in a minute they're gonna weed the labels out. It's already happening. Well, It'll be an independent artist and have a nice little fan base and make your own money. This ain't cap. I'm about to give me a million followers. I'm about to pay for this shit. I'm about to get me some millions. And you know that million is gonna make a million one of those. Nobody got Hell yeah. Facts. Hell yeah. So what we do? What do you got in the um? What do you? What would advice would you have? to an up-and-coming younger dude um, who's looking to get into the industry? What would you, how would you guide him if you had his best interest at heart? Let's go hard, man. If you ain't got no money, use a little Wayne method. Just mm. keep putting out music, keep mm. going, keep going mm. until somebody be like, yo, this nigga working hard, mm. you know what I mean? That's a fact. That was definitely a good method. That's a good method. That motherfucker was just playing. keep going, just keep yeah. pushing. You know what I'm saying? Out, they, say, they say you keep pushing the Wayne for an album. Oops. He don't do the industry shit and make you wait a week. Yeah, he's he bashing the right minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. nah, you know what I'm saying? Fact. He he got something. That motherfucker for was putting out an album. That, 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 I reckon that's why it's crazy. I, I told y'all like I started looking into the dude Russ. You know Russ is right. You know, long go ahead. He did an interview and he was saying like every week, every Friday, he would put a single on TuneCore, right? At first he said he was making like $10. Then it, like from him building up his catalog, he started getting like $50,000 a month, $100,000 a month. So where when he finally went to the label, this nigga got 14 albums on TuneCore. So they had to come to him with millions. You can't talk to me about nothing else. He already solidified and saying that I'm making this type of money a month on my own. So what, what can y'all give me? Y'all got to be able to um, match this or do something. It's you know, crazy. You know, that's, you know a, that's a great point. I was just watching the interview with Benny the Butcher, mm -hmm. and because you know they whole claim the thing was independent, self-made. We got each other, and I believe if I recall correctly, he was talking about um, signing. Mm -hmm. And so I think DJ Envy and Charlemagne was interviewing him and said, "Well, a, a minute ago you were saying independent, independent is king, but he acknowledged that 
having that machine behind you sometimes mm -hmm. open up different doors. It does. He it said, does. because as hot as I am, the upper echelon or the so-called upper, upper echelon of rap, they play those are you sign games. Yeah, that's a fact. They know that he hot. They know he on fire because we all know it, right? We can see fire. But then when he come to do a collab or some sort of business, they're like, well, all right, that's what's up. Or oh, you've been near the butcher. Who you sign with? Mm. So he's like, you know what I'm saying? So he ready to sign. I don't know if he signed already. I think he, 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 about, I think he underneath um, Rock Nation Man. Yeah, but that's why I say how the game is like, mm -hmm. you, you made a great point, Tyson. How the game is to me is because you got somebody like d right? d -God is nice, fully nice, musically nice, everything. Got everything behind him. Now, if somebody comes in, somebody like a Rock Nation comes in online and just goes, we behind D-Guard. Guess what happens first thing tomorrow morning? He got a million followers. He's through the roof. He's getting 25, 30,000 a show. That's a fact. Just because they just put the stamp on it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's where the game is getting it's, it's getting twisted. We got to get the people that's talented, and they just got to see the talent and, and come grab these dudes and, 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 and make something happen, bro. So what do you think? Let me say this to D-Guard. So what do you think? What do you think your step is to get to that platform? <clears throat> uh, I would say like networking, man. Just getting in these people's mm -hmm. face. They know it just like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. The only thing they can say is no. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're in the eye like a man. So give me a shot. Just mm -hmm. tell me no. That's why I didn't do it for a second. Hang on. <laughs> are you looking to um, do your thing independently or are you looking to perhaps get into some sort of label situation? Whatever makes sense. Whatever makes sense. Gotcha. Well, so y'all hear them. Anybody out there, listeners? Anybody out there that's, you know, got got a word that they can put in somebody's ear, you hear what he said. Yeah, let him get in your face. Let him show you what he about. Let him show you what he can do. That way, he, he's willing to do his own work. He's willing to put the work in so you don't even have to go through all the excess bullshit to get him out there. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and get <laughs> Going through this thing. Faster? Yeah, you know. He just had some other drink and then he was. no drink. Yes, he did. I had some other drink. Yeah, fruit juice and Patron from Yo, this shit up. They tripping. They swimming. They all drink this up. Tell me what. You want a shot? I'm going to die. Sure? You want a shot? Yeah. All right. The shot right here. Shot it up. Shot it up, man. To this. Let's just pour the shot. Let me just pour that for you, man. Let me stop. Let me just pour the shot. Let me, yeah, let me, let me pour these troubles for you, baby. Let me yeah, hook yeah. you up, man. Let me go. Bye, shot. Yeah, you can't wait to go ball. Shot, shot. Yeah, you can't wait to go ball. You can't wait to go ball. He know, he know what he's doing. Shot, shot, my man. man. All right, so we're going to give a nice salute to my man who is born day. Be going, peace, bro. blessings, and prosperity. You know what I'm saying? Get that, get that music. More health, more wealth, King. Salute. Salute, salute. To the strawberry water. See, when you know it's faded. And like we're going to say um, on this, they go like as far as like music. Are you trying to do merchandise and all that yeah, too? Like, mm. all that, man. Okay. You know, I had somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. Last minute shit, but we working on that. Facts, that'll be good. The merch shop gonna get that real good material. That shit that feel good on your skin. That's right, that's right. That's what support, you know what I mean? That's right. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. So where you, what's your plans in the short future? Like, you know, where you headed? I'm about to start dropping these visuals, you know. Dropping it, you just flooding with the music and the videos, you know, and moving around, networking. Also, I think would be a good thing for you, D Guard, mm -hmm. drop the documentary. Tell your story. Yeah, tell your story. Yeah. Tell your story. Yeah. Tell your story. You connect a lot of geography. That's what I said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell your story. Yeah, I think you connect a lot of geography. Yeah, yeah. 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 you speak right. a certain language, you know what I'm saying, right? Use sure. your cultural, you know what I'm saying, your sure. cultural affiliations, and sure. you tell that story because not only will you get your, your increase your musical following, you're gonna be reaching some people. And when you reach these little dudes, they follow you to the end. That's a fact. Because we lacking leadership. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We lacking people of substance, strong character. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah, we, we lacking that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> like, real shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. We lacking yeah, authenticity. We lacking. We lacking, we lacking niggas who are who they say they are. Good, oh, bad, or ugly, it don't matter, if right? I who I say I am, call me out. Don't yeah, be yeah, call you heard that, right? <laughs> call them out. If my paperwork I'm ain't good. Uh oh! Grab a shirt, grab a shirt. Shoot it out, what's up? 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 Shoot it out, what
man out, man. Uh, he talking that talk. He talking <laughs> that, that paperwork game. talk. Uh, he talking that this that old new this the new champion, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> heard? That stitch, that fat. Yeah. That's for you, kid. That's for you, kid. Paperwork good. Yeah. A video after this, this gonna be in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we talking know. about paperwork good up there. Yeah. Well, I paperwork good up in here. Yeah. <laughs> when I got to that jail in the feds, I brought my copy right to the yard. You know what sure. I'm saying? This is who I am. Good, bad, or ugly. Here ain't no, ain't no pages missing. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing blacked out. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, if you think about it, if you think about it. All of us say we get busy in the jail. All of us say we get money. But how do we discern, discern who's who? The paperwork, bro. Because before I take a chance and come into the yard and put my safety in jeopardy for you, we gotta see if you're good, bro. Because I'll be damned if I go to the yard and get into a fight and find out that you wasn't no good. Mm. Can you imagine that shit? Well, when I went to the right? feds, <laughs> my paperwork. <laughs> it wasn't done because I ain't going to the feds. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but that, the concept is just about bringing back integrity, you know what I'm saying? Nah, definitely. Authenticity. Right, absolutely, definitely. Talking about real shit and being real. That is really, definitely you know something that, you know what, that, and a lot of people that's, that's been through those situations, that's that's a high caliber. That's in the upper echelon of life. For for most of these street dudes and that paperwork being right. Yes. Some of these dudes ain't got good paperwork, but you know, they from a hood where they can come back to the hood and be like, man, I, 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 I. but right. you done went to another hood and fucked the nigga whole life up somewhere. That's a, that's you a, know that's, what I'm saying? That's, that's a fact, Slick. That should be crazy. That, yeah, that's crazy. And you don't find out about that until you start yeah, moving around. Facts. When you start moving around and you start meeting other people, and you start coming back to your hood with knowledge and wisdom with your son. That's when you start saying, son, you ain't right. Yeah. You did somebody down south dirty. Dirty. Facts. And that's how they do. They take a motherfucker from up here that then got jammed up, send his ship his ass off to North Carolina, some fucking way in here, go fuck somebody else's life up. That's a fact. On some bullshit. Like, a, lot, a lot of dudes is doing that, This shit is crazy. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy to see, even these young dudes, it's crazy to see some of you young niggas that might be doing 30 days, 60 days, 90 days a year. And then you jam a nigga up, give him 30 years, because you didn't want to do a year. Facts. But, you, but you wanted all the props behind but you, being right. alive, nigga. Right. You wanted to do the shooting. Like, it was probably your beef. But you wanted to do the right? And you <clears throat> come get a live nigga right. to hold you down. And when y'all get jammed up, you know who goes down. Right. But you know what it is? It's something that I'm going to cut you off. Yeah, 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 yeah. One yeah. thing I, I learned since younger, from even my brother, from older niggas I grew up listening to, like, if you want to put yourself out here in these streets, whatever you're doing, you gotta be able to, to take the consequences that, that come, come with it. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't want to take the consequences of what come with it. If you want to be a street dude, then whatever comes with that, it's gonna come That's with what it. You gotta take. And if it happens, just deal with it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't leave for you to say this person did that or that. Mm -hmm. I never, never will be that type of nigga. If I'm, if I'm doing, if I'm in the streets, I'm doing something, and God forbid if it happened, nigga, I'm, I'm gonna have to deal with it because I put myself there. Oh, that's you're right. You're right. That's you, a fact. You said you that's a fact. Be scared of the kids. Mm. Yeah. Not be scared of them. Yeah, that, that, that's a fact too. Yeah. They, they, they can't afford them for what they don't know. That. Yeah, you true, know, true. Said it, they close a lot of hallways down too, and I'm not saying that that's bad because obviously we want to clean up our communities. But they close down the corners, the hallways, the place we used to congregate, and those are those conversations took place from. Those are those indirect. You go give me a more fucking, go get me a blunt. You know what I'm saying? Have your back, keep the change, and when you come back, I'm gonna tell you about that shit you did last night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you and you give out some jewels, but you ain't giving them jewels without feeding them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now niggas wanna preach and ain't giving these kids no answers. You can't correct a kid right. without giving him a way to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah. telling tell I me personally, I ain't telling a nigga not to hustle sure. if I ain't got a job for him. Right, 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 right. right. But, but you know what I'm saying? You know what, what you said made a lot of sense. I think it is now. Like when, when I was coming up. We respected the OGs, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, me, yeah. I would see, we, we could be out in the middle of the street fighting, but you see somebody's mother coming, they can calm it down. Stop, stop, stop. Right away. Now, yeah. these, these yeah. little yeah. niggas don't care, but yeah. I think yeah. the reason is because now where the problem came in is that these little niggas and niggas looking at it like, we don't need no OGs, we get more money than the OGs. So that's, they letting the money take over from what the situation is. When before it used to be a respect level, is that, that shit just, like that That just went missing. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that shit started at home, bro. That's That started at home. Remember we just having that conversation before. That's that's these boys being raised by mothers. That shit started at home, bro. I'm telling you that, don't put your hand on my kid. Oh, nobody better not say this to my kid or do that to my kid. Nah. See, when we was little, we was, we was, we was in a position to get checked. By somebody by that wasn't our parents, by somebody in the community. 
You know, it could have been it could have been your best friend uncle seeing you doing some bullshit. Yo, your little nigga take your motherfucking ass the fuck you doing. And, and when you went home and he and he seen your mother and he told your mother, your mother ain't say, Oh don't oh I'm don't tell that to my kid. No, she said, Oh yeah, I'm gonna beat his ass. So it might have been two ass whoopers. You might have you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the the that starts at home, bro. That's one of the things that I was talking about, like even teaching our kids how to respond to police. That's one of those things. These kids think when the police pull them over, because their mother said, oh, I don't know why you're talking to my kid like that, that the police officer can't talk to you a certain way or say a certain mm -hmm. thing. Bro, like I always tell my kids, i rather you speak with respect even if it feels disrespectful and come home and then we can talk about what we can do next, but at least I know you're home. Then you be dead, laid out in the street, shot up. That's a fact. You understand what I'm saying? Mis mis because you miss right, because you misrepresented yourself because you didn't like what they were saying. So it's, it's a <laughs> lot of things that go back to this. And all this is about home, man. So, um, so let me ask you, um, God, what you got next, man? You going on? Um, <laughs> you got a, you got a time frame where you trying to put out this next visual? That's just something that you're working on, or what? I mean, yeah, we need to see something. This. We need what's what's going on? Uh, what are we doing, Ken? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remember you coming down there working a scrap joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's not right, Ken. What you, what you doing, bro? What's up? Are you a Long Island rapper or are you a New York rapper? What the, what you? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, or you just, you just I'm giving it up? Coast, up and down the East Coast. Ah, okay. All right. All right. So what's your next project? You putting, you, you got some tunes out, some sounds out currently? Uh, or you yeah, working on something? Some work. As soon as I leave here, we're going to shoot a video. So as soon as they finish the video, gonna shoot a video. video. as soon as y'all going to get it. Oh, okay. 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 I'm like, on it now. Yeah. Yeah. My okay. man told me your work is fire, so you know, I'm going to listen. Fire, 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 fire. Yeah. We're gonna blast that off. That's just a little sample for what I really got going. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, keep, you know, you got to keep working. You yeah, putting out content. Yeah, that's another thing that you know I fell into. You know, get caught up in the life, and then I forget to you know put out content and follow slow. Yes, 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 yes. I think we all did that. You know, that one. You know, they want to. They here for the for the show. You know, shit happens, man. That's what it is. You know, when you got to get back to you know, you got to put it in their face, man. It's time, right? It's time. It's time. It's time for real. And, 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 and we're still just getting into 22, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of those resolutions we had during the COVID season before this time came, this is the time that we talked about or getting busy. This is the time when we made those plans, right? To crush these, mm -hmm. you know, summer mm -hmm. right here. This is the time. Yeah, I got my Definitely own independent time. label. Mm -hmm. Started LLC, 050 ENT. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, okay. Shout, shout out, out. 050 ENT. 050 ENT. 050 ENT. You know, That's okay. your gram too? What's your Instagram? Yeah. Instagram, 050 Digo. 050 Digo. 050 Digo. 050 Digo. You got yeah. YouTube or no? Not, yeah, I got the 050 Digo, 050 YouTube. Subscribe to that. Subscribe Click that right that. now. Exactly. It's all on your Put phone. Put that on the screen. 050 means to be a web man, to be on point, you know. Mm. Be woke, man. You know what I mean? That's what that means. Got you. You know, and that's it's a way of life. You know what I mean? It's not a fad. You know, you can bury all your dead. Mm. You gotta be yeah. on point out here. You're yeah. right. You're right. You see what's happening in the grocery home. store? They yeah. See it coming. It's you know, I was just about to bring that up. Yes. And Digo just said that I just seen something he put on his page, and that's what we was talking about. Like Mike Saw said it. Like a lot of these rappers not even talking about it. Right. You know what I mean? Like they talk about when a, when a rapper get killed, everybody quick to post all this shit, but look what just happened. These are grandmothers, bro, that this dude did this shit to. He got to put the joint on his page where he got the conversation from the, um... Yeah, yeah, they left a number up there for us to call and make a complaint on the, um... Some dude was mocking what happened. Mm. He was the CEO of New York State Correctional mm. Office. Mm. Damn. They put his name and uh, a couple of other names on there that was mocking. That's crazy, crazy. They left a bro. number for us to call up and complain, you know, and I made the initiative, I called up and Oh, that's what's up. I called too on this page. Challenged a few people to do it also. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. You got a challenge on this page. Yeah, so make sure you're going to the same. He the same CEO that'll be in one of them jails cracking somebody in the head. He the same CEO. He the same CEO. Need to spend five minutes with a nigga that'll whoop his ass. He the same CEO that's going to try to kick you in your balls. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the problem, bro. Press charges on you. That's right. They send you the outside court up there in kangaroo court. You know what I'm saying? When sure. you get another extra one and a half to four on top of your 20. But isn't that, like, what I'm going to say to you, isn't that crazy, like, even with that situation that this guy had the mind frame to go in there and kill these older people that did nothing wrong, and then the cops is just sitting there with him, this dude ain't got a scratch on him. No, we get pulled over and niggas is getting roughed up. They slamming niggas on their face for nothing. 
This dude is standing there after any shot out with the cops. He's tasing us for fun. They ain't do nothing to him. They, they practice tasing on us, right? Because you know what I'm saying? Nothing what, happened. They practice that's, tasing. That shit is crazy, man. Wow. When you I'll think about that. I'll tasing my kids. But I'm saying, even when you get that call, I'm actually all like, E, everybody's in here. When you get that call that somebody is shooting in a supermarket, that shit is crazy. Aren't you supposed to come prepared to do something? He's standing there. And you put no, no hands on him or nothing. I'm going to tell y'all like I told y'all. He's crazy. I'm going to tell y'all like I told y'all on the last crazy. segment. When are we going to do something about it? Yeah. That's the problem. The problem is, the pro the problem is we got to <laughs> stop. Oh, why this happened? When are we going to do something about it? When are we going to stop being happy with the little bit of shit that we have and decide that we want more? When are we going to do something about it? Because right. all it takes is for us to say, we're not dealing with this no more. Mm -hmm. And see, the problem is everybody think that's a black-white thing. That's not a black-white thing. That's people versus the government. That's all it is. It's not a black-white thing. But if I keep everybody at each other's throats, they'll think it's a black-white thing. Mm -hmm. They'll think that, they'll think the separation, oh, oh yeah, oh, well, he did this. That's not a black-white thing. It's when are we gonna stand up as people and decide that we are not taking it no more. Tracks. They want us to wild out on the police. Put it up. They want people to wild out on the police because they're looking for a reason to defund police mm. so they can bring in private security companies that are ex-military, military. This is what they want. This was the reason for all this COVID shit. It's a, yo, it's a bigger picture, but we never dive into it. We just think like it's right here on the surface. Nah, it's not. Everything happens for a reason. It's, it's been a lot of it's been a lot of shit going on for people doing shit to black folks. Black is and, and the only thing we say, oh, it's white versus black. No, it's not really. Some of these people are sent out there on dummy missions the same way a dude in jail is sent a nigga on a dummy mission to do some dumb shit. It's the same way they send a motherfucker on a dummy mission. The government is sending a nigga on a dummy mission to go do some dumb shit to see what the outcome is going if we're going to give them what they want. You know what we give? If we give them what they want, if we start wowing the fuck out and, and change... But they waiting for that. That's what they want. They got another plan because, for that. Right, they got another plan. Mm -hmm. They got a plan for that, bro. But that's what it's about. If you think, if you think, if you think about it, right? If you think about it, they ready for that. And they got... It, it takes one corrections officer to monitor 20 cell cell block. Just think about that. They can lock 20... They can lock 50 of us up and they got one officer walking the gallery right. checking on 50 people. They ready for all sorts of confusion. Yeah. They got layers upon layers upon layers upon layers. So are you doing any collabs with anybody? Yeah, anybody that, you know, respect my craft enough to, you know, want to pay for a feature, I do it. I'm going to give you the best feature you ever had. That's a fact. You know what I mean? And we're going to do a video. Okay, so you working. Nah, you working, you working. You, you, working. Shit, you, you, ain't, real, you ain't doing none of that industry flaky shit. <laughs> nah, you nah. working. You bringing that <laughs> supreme energy. Fuck, if you want a feature from me, why you can't pay for it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. work it. like me that much. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, what, what I, I want to do is, what's your price? I'm going to go hard. Depending what's, what's your price? Do, right? You want the video with it? <laughs> I mean, we, we probably could do it. We could probably make that happen. for the feature, man. Oh, oh now listen. Right, man. You uh, want okay. the video with it? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect okay, with you okay. after this because, you know, my son, he up and coming and he mm -hmm. trying to get it right. But, hey, listen, we start right here at home. That's sure, the best thing to do. Yeah. So I, I'm going to try to go ahead and put this Let's together. I'll pay the 500. Hey, nothing. It's in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Anybody out there looking for that feature? We're going to promote it. I like that. That's real shit. I'm not a rapper, but I got an idea. So I got an idea. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I like the dialogue, man. I like not only um. Do you answer the questions, man? You bring in a certain uh, realistic insight like to, to, yes. to, to how you view what we ask you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it ain't you ain't in here just answering questions. You're giving experience behind your answer. You know what you're talking about. You know where you're coming from. And I'm only see great things for you in the future, King. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what you got? What's your birthday plans for the day? What you got planned? Well, uh, <laughs> the best day I had a little get together with my family. Mm -hmm. And um, just 
one we had fish fry, you know, grits. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I wish we had shot this video earlier. I wish we had seen this earlier. Now you invited us. Yo, listen, you know, I invited us. Why you ain't invited us to go fish? I told you, invite us to how y'all can come right now. No, I ain't right know. He said that. I told you. I told you. Look at the chat. I didn't say the fish, but the chat. I said, you wanted to come to him. God, he just wants to come to him. He's ready for y'all. I said, ooh. I said, ooh. I said, ooh. Everything. Oh, I would have killed. Slickers in the chat. I said, I yo, fish and grits. Nico, she wants to come to him. Eggs, sausage. Yo, look. 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 Yo, we can part two. Definitely, definitely. We can do yeah, it. We can do it. We for that. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. But you know, so for the for the further notion of life, so we gotta. Oh shit! Money on the floor. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that that money. Money. Well, I'm just saying. I'm gonna listen. He said, "We gonna stop this." You know, everything that hit that floor. When he said to you earlier, I'm saying, "Cause he's talking about me." Bro. Everything that hit the floor belongs to the nah, palace. <laughs> <I'm talking about laughs> he messed up my frame of thought with what I was gonna say. But <laughs> like for the for the you know for the better part of life, I'm, we definitely gonna connect on that because sure. that's something I get. That's immediately mm -hmm. I need to get that done because I'm trying to. Help my, my boy out. He do it. You know, he and he, and he, he good too. He good. He good. You might like his How old is his he? vibe. Twenty five. Uh, he, 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 he ready. He ready. He good. Yeah, he ready. He good. He got that nice slow for more day long. Nice All he do is think of shit. I be like shit. Yeah, that's his thing. So you know, so we gonna we gonna we gonna definitely put that together. What? Yeah. Lie, lie, lie. So who? You, let me ask you this, guy, real quick. Who you see on the island? You looking at? Like what all that you see right now that's on the that you think is ready to go out here. Long Island? Long Island. <laughs> mm. I know the tough question is. We take none as a thousand artists. We take none as an answer too. <laughs> <laughs> we take that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like when you see like, oh, that's <laughs> right. I'm back, got a little disconnection. I, mean, I can back. tell you who I saw doing okay. something back, you know, years ago. Mm. Stroking genius. Oh man, Stroking G, man. Stroking G. Woo! Shout out to Stroking G, man. Stroking G. Shout out to Stroking G. I need my feature on. We ain't get that in there. Right, right. Stroking G need to pull one shot. Camera shot before he went away. Oh my God. Camera shot. We just talked about that the last episode. Camera shot. I need the drone. That's yo. I like a lot of people, man. You know. I just, you know, I just feel like. Some people be intimidated by me, you know? mm -hmm. and we in two different lanes. You know what I mean? I'm about myself with this. Facts. You know, and my mother can vouch for everything that mm -hmm. I've been saying and stuff like that. And not too many people can say that. Mm -hmm. You know, and I got a real, real story, real background. You know, it get deep and get into all that part too. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that's I'm, why he did a documentary. And I'm real humble, man. I could be another way, and people don't respect that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, I could be another way. Like, you don't respect my own. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, but at the same time, you got to think for people. Of course, that's right. Because right now, a lot of people say, as far as Long Island, I wish everybody the best. You know, you know, anybody who support me, I always support them. That's a fact. I never leave them out. That's a fact. All the time, you know. But as far as, you know, right now, I was looking, man, we just need some more things to see. And I don't really be, and I'm not going to say it's because it's a lot of artists. I just haven't, it's artists that I haven't seen that I see every day. It's like, oh, well, he's from Long I don't want to just say a certain thing right, right, right. right. when they feel yeah, 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 that's right. not doing it no more. Somebody that's away, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, big up to everybody that's working. Man. That's just keep working, man. I'm up to work with everybody. Mm -hmm. You heard him. You heard he said y'all did, man. You need to hit him up. To work. I'm not gonna lie. Anybody. Ready to work. Anybody. Feature. <laughs> And you gotta pay for a feature, man. That's what people don't be understanding. People look at it crazy, but this is the thing I don't be understanding. You won't pay somebody who you know, who you know about that shit you talk about, but you'll pay one of these other niggas yeah, that you know no background to them. No. And just because they got a little name, you'll throw five and ten thousand dollars at them when it's a nigga in your backyard, they get busy, and he gonna promote the shit out of it. You know what I'm saying? And he just said it. I'm gonna do the video, like I'm gonna promote mind. it. You know what I'm like saying? Like mind. you got these dudes out here, you'll pay money for it. They won't even put you on their page. I've been through that. Yeah. Yeah. Get into that yeah. part too. 
Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. I, I seen it. Look at me like uh -huh. a salary, so I already know you need money for this shit. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And we gonna like I said, part two is gonna be crazy. Because part two we gonna be in the fish fry. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, uh, I ain't talking about my boy Conrad yeah, about the grits. Sure didn't tell me. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't had no good grits in a long time, man. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we just wanna. Oh, he said we're gonna cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I just wanna um before we close out, smoke a man's podcast. I wanna um salute to my boy D God, man. Make sure y'all niggas yeah. really really go check his movement, man. And when his shit drop, y'all niggas go cop it. And leave comments on this page, man. Like, don't, it ain't got to be a DM. Leave comments. And this is birthday, man. So y'all niggas yeah, celebrate man. that, man. Celebrate life, man. Happy yeah. birthday to me, Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, right. yes. New That's face right. in Long Island, man. Uh-oh. We're coming out, though. All positive vibes. That's so fact. don't be scared, y'all. I'm yeah, chilling sure. when I come outside, all right? That's I go. just be popping shit, man. <laughs> I'm chilling when I come outside, man. You know, it is. everybody, you know, open arms, you know. I'm going to protect myself, though. So nah, definitely. See, we call shit. That's a part. That's a part. <laughs> Outside, man. Let's turn up. Let's you get said, some money, man, yes. for Long Island. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Smoking right. Man's podcast. We here for a reason, not just a season. Big Tyson that. Slick oh, D-Bar, man. Good job. Be good. Enjoy yeah. your day, weekend. <laughs>